how much it can matter. I think that's when I, I, I notice or even you know, become aware uh, about, about finances in life. When you see the people who struggle for the lack of it, those can be painful moments because that, then that's really sad. But as long as you're comfortable or you're in a, in a you know, financially stable position, then I think it's all the other things in life that matter more. And what does happiness and peace of mind mean to men? <laughs> what is a part to it? That is the <laughs> that is the question for us all. And if we if I have that answer, then I have the answer. You have the answer. So let so that, let me tell you um, what I think may be one of the ways to the answer, and then you have to tell me the answer because this this is one thing I would definitely need to take away from you. Um, peace of mind. Um, what is it? There's a famous saying that says, "You're never alone." You will never be lonely if you like the person you're alone with. So I think that no one, nobody can really have peace of mind or happiness unless they are completely at ease and comfortable with themselves. And that sounds very easy, but I think it's a lot harder said than done because I think the world is so fast-paced and people are moving at such a fast, a fast rate and things, especially in our industry and as I, I think it also is in your industry as well. There's so much and so many things moving so fast around you. You rarely have to see or be confronted with who you actually are. And I think those are, those are the, the moments in life where if you, can, if you can be happy and comfortable with yourself, I think then you're going to attract the right people who will truly love you. And if you are truly loved, then I think you're happy. What I've learned in life is that happiness is a state of mind. It's not permanent. It's, it's transitory. It's, yes. It comes, it I goes. I completely agree with that also. And peace of mind is more permanent. But I think the source of happiness and peace of mind is contentment. We have to be contented with what we have. Yes. But we all doesn't mean we don't strive for better. Mm. But we don't use the wrong means. We mm. aspire, but we don't envy. I don't think that happiness can come through relationships. Happiness is something which is very individualistic. Yes. And very peculiar to an individual. And I have found Individuals who have, you know, who are earning 10,000 rupees a month, but they're so happy. Mm. I find they're happier than me because they're contented with what they have. So I think the source of happiness lies there. And, but we should aspire. If we don't aspire, then we'll become, become a sadhu. So, that, so it's about finding the balance, balance, which I guess also is the secret Absolutely. of life. You have to have the balance between aspiration, between being driven, between being motivated and being content, right. not being discontent, because also a great factor in driving yourself and in motivation is discontentment, because that drives you to perfection or to strive. And also you. I realize that no number one is permanent in life. That is true. Not the richest man in the world, not the best actor in the world, not the best actress in the world, not the best movie in the world. So you must realize that all this success and all this wealth all is all transitory. You know, all adjectives are, tra are transient and temporary. They are. Wealth, success, happiness, sorrow, taste. I experienced the greatest joy of my life when maybe 13 years old, 13 years earlier, after 17 years of marriage, at the age of 43, my princess was born. And I have never experienced greater joy in life, meeting the most beautiful woman, having the largest number of rings, you know, you know, making most money in the stock market than meeting my children. So I think you have to experience it to live it. And then you realize what your parents are and what they sacrifice for you. Then you realize in life there are only really two gods, which are your parents. So I think children is, and I'm sure, Rekha is very hopeful they look after us. I said after the age of 19, I have no hopes. <laughs> They're going to be too busy. She with her boyfriends, they with their girlfriends. <laughs> so, but uh, I mean, it is the biggest joy of life. To me. I think, like you said, it's it's something you're only going to know that um, that magic or that experience when you experience yes. it. I, li like you said, it's that moment which changed. So the moment either a man Don't has, has a child or Don't a woman has much. a child. <laughs> Uh, like like you said, what was what, what was it you said that everything in life is um, everything Trans everything in life has its own path uh -huh. and so, it's transient and temporary. Yeah. But what I feel, Katrina, after meeting and conversing with you, you're a wise woman with wisdom, wisdom and wisdom <laughs> and intelligence. Whatever you, have, you say, you take every decision with consideration. So whenever I have, whenever you decide, take my point of view. 
Yes. And makes people. Uh, I, I will. I will definitely.